When is the next eclipse? In the early hours of Friday, November 19, 2021 a lunar eclipse will come to North America, as well as to South America, Australia, and East Asia. But it's not quite what you think. Sure, the nearly full moon will turn a reddish, orangish, brownish color for a few hours, but this lunar eclipse is going to be rather odd. Here's everything you need to know to see and appreciate this week's unusual kind of blood moon eclipse. Full moons occasionally turn reddish because they move into Earth's vast shadow, Umbra, in space. This one will not. Or, at least, not entirely. At its peak precisely 97. 4% of our satellite will enter Earth's shadow. There will remain a slither of reflected sunlight. So it's a partial, not total, lunar eclipse. Though it's so close that it will still be a spectacular event. North America is perfectly placed to see this global event, which will happen at exactly the same time for everyone on the night side of Earth. However, the local time it will happen where you are depends on where you live. So get the exact celestial schedule for your location and consult an interactive map of the event. In Europe it will be possible to glimpse some of the preceding partial phase close to moonset. The moon will be in as full near totality eclipse as it gets, and so as red as possible, at 9.02 UTC. That translates to although seeing the moon at max. Red is one option, for me at least as interesting a sight is the almost straight, but slightly curved line moving across the moon to envelope it in color, that's the edge of Earth's massive shadow. You'll only see that if you watch the waxing partial eclipse phase before the near totality. Here's when to see our planet's mighty shadow move across the moon to see Earth's shadow recede across the moon and drain it of color. Simply keep on watching past the point of near totality. It's also the longest partial lunar eclipse for 580 years. But why? Well, shortly after this eclipse, just under two days later, the moon reaches the apogee of its slightly elliptical orbital path around the Earth. So it will appear relatively small in the night sky, something that explains why it goes so deeply into, and spends so long inside, Earth's shadow. The 2. 6% of the moon that won't enter Earth's shadow is on the southern limb of the moon, so while most of the lunar disk will turn red, this slice will not. As a nice bonus, the eclipse will peak while the moon is close to the Pleiades one of the, the closest, brightest and most impressive open star clusters to our solar system. If you're an astrophotographer, this is the shot you want. There's a helpful video from NASA that visualizes the entire thing. So when is the next eclipse? 